also have that 90 minute guarantee. So this is what you guarantee. do. Shop Cobb County Kia in Kennesaw and CobbCountyKia.com. 90 minute guarantee by appointment only. Purchase must be on an in stock unit. 90 minute guarantee based on original customer agreement to terms dependent on credit. Lending of $500 will be paid by check once the loan is funded by lending institution or may be deducted from the price of the car, whichever customer chooses. See dealer for details. So this is what you do. This is big business. This is the American way. We go to this question interview brought to you by Oracy Software. The Oracy team is committed to providing full life cycle support for developing, tele- texting, and delivering market driven products. Oracy's mar- motto is when a customer engages one of us, they engage all of us. Go to Oracy.com for more information. Maceo, please introduce our guest, sir. Hey, man, Coach Brandon Jones, uh, <clears throat> big time quarterback consultant and he hang out with our guy Tony Ballard at Hustle Inc., baby. What's up, coach? I'm all right, man. I'm all right. Guys. What's happening, baby? Just chilling, man. Chilling. Hey, man, first of all, thank you for coming through, man. Me me and you, we we go back and forth. We have all these exchanges, <laughs> and I just felt the need to have you come in because we have to educate the parents, especially when we talk about quarterback. True, true. Because um, um, the quarterback position is so different from – Every other position when we talk about recruiting. It is. Um, you know, I think a lot of even not just quarterback parents, but parents in general. Right. They get caught up in the in the recruit hype. Mm. And Uh-oh. not understanding that recruiting is exactly what it is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, at the end of the day, when you show up that first day of fall camp or even summer camp, you're going to have a number on your helmet. You're going to have your name on your helmet just like everybody else. Right. You know, whether you're right. five-star, whether you walk on. Mm. So, you know, only thing you're trying to do is be a part of that 105 because, you know, they're going to bring in 105 <laughs> during camp. So, uh, camp body. Yeah, the camp body is right. You know what I mean? And and then from there, you know, um, so don't get caught up so much in the whole, you know, ranking and this and that. Just worry about our skill set. Prepare yourself and then everything else will fall in place, you know, so. What is today's quarterback looking like? What is it now? We got all these spread quarterbacks, these cute quarterbacks, I right. call them. Ain't too many up in the center. Right, what, right. Do you, what do y'all try to focus on with today's quarterback? Here's the thing. So the only thing that stays consistent with the game of football is the field, right? Mm-hmm. So with that being said, us as quarterbacks, we have to always keep our feet connected to the ground. That's our power source, right? Right, right. So, you know, um, just thinking, you know, you've seen a lot of guys in pro days and you've seen, uh, you know, the NFL combines and things like that. Every route that you saw the quarterbacks throw, were they from the shotgun or were they taking under center? They act like they were under center. It, you know what I mean? They tried that like it. They tried that like it, right. So, you <laughs> know, it looks so foreign to them. That right. Some guys, you're like, right. wow, what is he, you know? And that's all because, you know, off pure athleticism, they let them get away with it. You know, they just let them, hey, you know, sit back there five yards deep, catch the ball. You don't even have to move your feet, really. Just catch the ball, sit where you are, throw the football. So instead of dropping, you know, and, and, and I think, you know, being under center has become a lost art. You know, mm, because it's, it's it's you can't just get under there and do anything. If you false step, that lineman might step on your foot. And you right. don't even get the playoff. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's very fine when it comes to getting under center. Um, you know, I love it though. I love it. You know. Now I I've been watching this. Uh, I I get hooked on these all or nothing specials. So they got one now. Uh, Amazon followed Michigan, uh-huh. and we, we know they had two seniors in Spate in uh, Ocorn. Mm-hmm. And both of these guys were seniors who went through a lot. Just talk about the mental part of the game that just people don't understand about playing quarterback. Right. Um, you know, it's it's hard being a starter, right? But it's even harder being a backup. Right. Um, and the reason being is because as a backup, you have to continue to create value, right, without being on the field. So you have to be on top of your playbook. You have to be able to know your offense in and out. You got to be able to know the defense. You you even have to be able to know how to make that number one better, right? Because if you don't push him, then he gets comfortable, and then your whole, <laughs> you know, your whole team, your offense looks like it's ineffective, right? Right. You know what right, I mean? Right. Right. So as a backup, you know, you have to understand that not only are you challenged to get on the field, but you are challenged to actually be able to create value by not being on the field. So that's you know, it's like a that's a hard situation to be in, you know. Uh, so at the same time, you really, really have to focus on preparing yourself not only for that opportunity but to make that person in front of you better. And then at the end of the day, you know, um, you become a well-rounded player because you can make people around you better. So when you do get your shot, that's why people will rally around a number two who's prepared himself because he's done all the hard work, 
he they he he's he's been in and out of the locker room. They've seen him. They've heard him. They see how he interacts. All right. He's not pouting. They see they see his mentality. They, they see his effort. They see his character. Right. So then when he does get in there, they'll run through a brick wall for him because he did it for us by standing on the sideline. When you get a chance to deal with quarterbacks, what's some of the first thing? I know we always talk about footwork, but what's some of the first things you like to work with them with? Uh, first thing is, you know, just see where they are mentally. Yeah. You know, um, a lot of times they did they rely so much on their athleticism and their athletic ability. You don't want to take that away from them, but you want to work to their strengths. At the same time, you do want to continue to develop them as quarterbacks, though. You know, so um, it, it it energy transfers from the ground up. You know, again, so we start with our feet. So if we start with our feet, that'll transfer up through our torso and out of our arm instead of just you know a lot of people say, man, he's got a strong arm, but he's got terrible feet. Right. <laughs> so, and his shoulder and elbow gonna hurt real soon. Right, absolutely. Because he, he you know, our, our our arm, we only have so many throws. No, I can't throw with the shoulder. You can't, you can't throw with that. Bad mechanics. It's all good. Terrible mechanics. <laughs> <laughs> I throw a five yard out. It's over. Man. <laughs> <laughs> it is over. Because <laughs> all this is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm throwing your lower body all no, no base. None of that. <laughs> I'm just throwing like just this. Throw. And just you can tell, and, that's, and it's important because I'll make sure we talk about it with quarterback. Look at his feet. We just sitting there looking at his feet. Yeah, absolutely. Look at him throwing. He's just throwing all back. Right. I tell, him, I tell him all the time, I can just, I only have to look up here. I can look right here. I can tell you where the ball going. Absolutely. Like, that, that, the ball, you're right. It'll be incomplete. Because your feet put you in position to make the throw. Right? Exactly. And again, you know, a lot of times we get so focused on, oh, the arm strength, arm strength. Well, it's guys on the other side of the ball who can run, right? Right. And the older we get, the weaker my arm gets, the faster they get. So yeah. when that ball starts getting picked off, and then I have to become a tackler, I'm ending up as a quarterback with 16, 17 We like tackles. that, too. We, all got that. <laughs> we like that. The linebacker, we like that. We all become tacklers. That's a problem, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? The first thing they say in the defense move, go get the quarterback. Right. 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 On the, on the no. Everybody on defense looking for you. Everybody on defense looking for you. And we're going to get you. <laughs> and, 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 and as a quarterback, I'll tell you, Get out the way. Hey, that's it. That's it. Throw hey, get out the way. Get out the way. Don't try to be a hero. Try, try to cover. Cover. Cover right. But get out right. the way. Try to make him make a move. He's right. Slow him down. Slow him down to yeah. make sure the cutback. Uh, uh, right. But you know, cut. our shoulders ain't built for that. You know what I mean? <laughs> we, we ain't built for that. You know. We just trying to make high life. You know? <laughs> Coach, answer me this. Why does everybody think their child is a quarterback? Well, it's the highlight position, you know. But what they don't understand with that is, if me as a quarterback, if I score 49, right, and the defense gives up 56, That's that loss still coming to me. Right. All right? Right. If I throw for 500, four touchdowns, no picks, defense give up seven touchdowns, that loss comes to me. Yeah. I played a great game, right, as a quarterback. So, therefore, you know, it, it comes and goes. I think everybody wants to take the highs, but you got to take the lows with it as well because those losses only going to come to two people, the head coach and that quarterback. And the quarterback. Either, and the, the head coach doesn't play defense, he doesn't play special teams, and he doesn't play offense. <laughs> that quarterback only plays offense. Well, he only right? plays offense. So, hey, it's, it's, you know, you can only do so much. You're so. still going to blame everything on y'all. That's true. <laughs> we'll take that. We'll hey, take when we that. come back, man, I want to ask you a question. We, I always like to ask Drew Roos. We, no, we got the draft coming up. We got the draft coming up. All right. Who you like, mechanic wise? Who would you draft first, and why, Coach? <laughs> you ready? I guess I'm gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. Hey, become the new you at Cobb County Kia. We still have zero percent for 75 months on Optima Forte Sorrento and Sportage. We also have that 90 minute guarantee. So this is what you do: shop Cobb County Kia. Kennesaw and CobbCountyKia.com. 90 minute guarantee by appointment only. Purchase must be on in stock unit. 90 minute guarantee based on original customer agreement to terms dependent on credit. Lending of $500 will be paid by check once the loan is funded by lending institution or may be deducted from the price of the car, whichever customer chooses. See dealer for details. So this is what you do. Marie Callender's knows that you may not have time to roll out dough for a perfectly flaky crust that's made from scratch. Or enough time to mix vegetables with all white meat chicken and a homemade gravy. She knows you may not have a moment to crimp the edges of your favorite chicken pot pie. But Marie Callender's does. And when she's done, all you need to do is find time to grab someone special. Sit down and savor. Marie Callender's. 
it's time to say we're more connected than ever before 90 percent of america's students use some form of social media but not all of it's used in a good way hurtful posts online are leading to social isolation for many psychologists say it's bullying in a brand new way well beyond differences in i keep safe are looking to change that with ideas for students their parents and even teachers take the pledge to be kind online and learn more at we are kind online Com. Whoa, long time no see. It's me, the rock t-shirt in the back of your closet. Dude, remember? You crowd surfed in me, man. But you haven't worn me in like forever. I get it, you're retired, but I still got some rock left in me. So take me to Goodwill, where I can really make a difference. Your donations to Goodwill create jobs, training programs, and education assistance for people in your community. To find your nearest donation center, go to goodwill.org. Donate stuff. Create jobs. A message from Goodwill and the Ad Council. Hey, we're back, man. In our Oracy Software interview part one. With Coach, man, you know, Coach, we were talking about it before we left. And this is Coach Brandon Jones. Everybody coach around here. But. <laughs> <laughs> we talk about things. Let me just start. I ain't gonna, I'm not going to shoot Coach. When you look at Lamar Jackson, uh-huh. what is all this that you're hearing about he shouldn't do this? I think he plays all right. What are your thoughts about it? So, <clears throat> I think, um, especially given an opportunity in the NFL, um, if you give a guy like Johnny Manziel an opportunity to play the quarterback position, yeah, you got to give the same to Lamar. You have you, you have to because yeah. he's earned that. Yeah, right. Um, but at the end of the day, it's a it's a different position, right? Mm-hmm. Um, the ins and outs of it, nobody will ever really know. But at the at that level, um, I really do hope that Lamar has an opportunity not to not to go in and play because you have very few rookies that are ready to go in and play right now. Right, right, right. So if he's ready to go in and, for one, compete, right, and then learn, um, with that openness and opportunity, I think he'll be okay. I think he'll have an opportunity to learn, to uh, see how the game goes because it's a different level, you yeah. know. Uh, no matter what level you come from, whether it's going from middle school to high school, it's a different level. Right, so giving him the opportunity to to learn and 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 grow as a quarterback, I think uh, I think he does deserve a shot. Maceo, we got a phone call, man. Hey, caller, what's your question on? Yo, Maceo, Blaze, Coach, I'm crushing on the show. What's up, Mike? What's happening, Mike? Why did I, I want to ask Coach's opinion? Go ahead. He listening. If, if he were the Falcons GM, what, what's the most that you would pay Matt Ryan on this new contract? <laughs> Yeah, with this Matt Ryan, man. Hey, All right, Mike, yeah. we're going we're gonna to let you hang up so you can listen to this response. Because this is going to be good. You got to see his face. Yeah. Oh, well. All right, then. All right, All right. Mike. Appreciate it, Mike. Um, you know, Matty Ice is Matty Ice, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, also, you have to look at what other quarterbacks are out there and that's available right now. Mm-hmm. Right? Um, I think as far as – a solidified starter, I think he, he has solidified himself as a starter in the NFL, you know. Um, so when it comes to the contract thing, though, you know, that that's that's a different, you know, that's just a different ball game right there because you got guys, you know, like Kirk Cousins just landed that big one. And then you 28 Alex, million, yeah, right. Alex Smith landed that big one, you know what I mean? So as a player, you of course you'll have guys who are thinking about those numbers and who will start trying to position themselves because at the end of the day, that's how they feed their family, right? Right. So they're going right. to try to get the most. He got twins. Man. Yeah, he got twins, right? He just <laughs> yeah, had another yeah, day, right? Take care is not cheap. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> so the Ryan twins. Yeah. He's going to so, sound like Spree Will. He can't spend $28 million for his <laughs> kids. Right. Do y'all don't know how much it costs to raise? Spree Will said he couldn't do $15 million. This economy out here, baby. <laughs> Are you serious? Man. So, you know, um, with that, man, I, you know, it, it, it whew, that's tough. I'm just glad I'm not in that position. You know, because at the end of the day, you know, um, he had he has solidified himself as a starter, and you know, whatever he he demands, I think they'll try to pay him because you know it's not too many proven starters out there. And, and he's up a tier, regardless yeah, of what they, regardless right. what people want to say. Right. It's it's gonna be hard to argue him outside of the top ten. Right. It's right. just gonna be hard. We said on this show when they if they say twenty, he walking out the door. Twenty. Okay. Yeah, he, he, he got to go. Yeah, he got to go. say third yeah, first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, can't, you can't even fix your mouth to say No, that. no. He anything in the twenties, <laughs> he walking out the door. No, sir. <laughs> he like we talk next week. Yeah. So let me ask you this, coach. Seven on seven. Uh huh. Such a hot topic. Been under a lot of fire. Uh-huh. Me personally, I like it for the development of a quarterback okay. as far as 
understanding the when people play the defense is right. Okay, right, right. Reading coverage, Correct. understanding route concepts right. and timing. Gotcha. Your thoughts on seven on seven as a whole. So the way seven on seven was was first created was you like know we played yeah <laughs> and here's the thing that, that that's very key yeah because when we played we took our defense right yeah so that mean the reason I'm taking my defense is because my linebackers have to know how to cover them. right I can't put seven defensive backs on the right field. I can't right. put you know thank you coach <laughs> thank you right. coach because I used to always get mad I'm like dude you got you got eight DBs on right, the field right. that ain't that's not that, when your linebacker when like, ever they ain't so no me. cover we, we, we stop at dime <laughs> right. ain't nothing after <laughs> dime. <laughs> That's it. But y'all putting eight DBs yeah, in the Let's, come let's on, get man. that fifty cent piece. <laughs> you, know, right, you know, so that that's the only, and 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 I know the game evolved, right? Right. You know, but at the end of the day, let's get back, you know, to the basics and fundamentals of teaching our linebackers to drop. That's one thing that hurts them when they get to college. Absolutely. You don't have good hips. He can't drop. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. They can't you know, get the hook they curl. Can't, yeah. can't get there, right? Mm -hmm. And we banging, terrible in the game. We banging them curl routes yeah. all day long. All true. You see what I'm saying? Cool. Real quick too. Cool. Why don't nobody? The curl route is the number one throw. That's hard. It's hard to stop. Do, you can run man. You can run zone. That's hard to stop. Do you get frustrated when you see teams not throwing the curl route? See, what happens is, is offense is sometimes we get so fancy and complicated. Right? You said, uh, oh, see, my God. See, I didn't, see, I didn't <laughs> want to say that. Yeah. Thank now, you, Coach. Right, right. Here he goes. Thank you, Coach. Because <laughs> what we want to do is we want to reinvent the wheel, <laughs> and we want to put our thumbprint on it, right? So We, we go to a game and be like, Oh, it's right. It's right, right there. I mean, it's all yeah. this stuff. It's, it's right. I'm like, what is all this? Right there, right. Yeah. Make sure that like, curl route kill. Yeah. Hey, do they even have a curl route in their game? Do anything else? <laughs> throw the curl. My point. Right. So like, what happens he... is we come in with these elaborate offensive game plans, right? You know, Pages we like this. Oh, <laughs> hey, and look, and you know what's crazy? I mean, I'm even guilty of that. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you, I got called out because I had a, um, I went down to coach a JV game. Boy, I had my play card. Boy, I had that thing all the way out. I got there. I was looking like. No, we can't run that. Can't yeah, run that. they can't run that. <laughs> by the, hey, look, by the third series, that thing was in my back pocket. Hey, man, listen, we just going. Right, we're throwing <laughs> we're, basic. Basic. Hey, listen, hitch, slant, curl. We're we going to stay right there. Smash. That's it. And, yeah, <laughs> that's yeah, it. I feel you. That's it. So, you know, but that, that's what happens. Is, you know, we get so complicated and start, it, start to. Now, it, it is a time for that, you know. When mm -hmm. you do have time to do that, say, for instance, if we're going into a bowl season and we got six weeks to prepare, right. yeah, we can start adding some wrinkles. Throw some stuff in. Yeah, we yeah. can do that. Right. You, that's progression. That's progression. They start off game one with right, a card right, like this. They, I'm like, this we're the going first seven verse. Out here. <laughs> out here. Everybody verse. Everybody. Right. Everybody running to each other. running. To <laughs> no spacing. <laughs> and and that's, that's, that's key. because on One DB covering three guys. I got all that. All right. Right. I got this because they're in the same area. Right? They're in the same area. They're in the same area. So, uh, yeah, that, it's, it's key, though. Like you said, spacing is key. You know, timing is key. But with seven on seven, man, um, a lot of the routes and things, you got defensive uh, receivers, I guess, wasting time on the line of scrimmage. Yeah. Right? Oh, in yeah. the game, yeah. you know, yeah. my defensive ends, I'm just going to tell them push up field, right? Right. And make the quarterback throw in timing. Because if he's doing all that at the line of scrimmage, he'll he'll take himself out to play. Yeah, if he's doing that Drake dance. Yeah, it's almost yeah, like ball, a self-check. Ball gone. Self-check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, 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 yeah. at the quarterback, I'm already off him. I see right. him still I, doing I don't have time for that. You know, <laughs> I don't have time for that. Next. Yep, that's it. Yeah, we're doing a Drake dance now. <laughs> we got one more save with Coach, man. When we come back, I want to talk about grind. All right. We'll make absolutely. sure we talk about it. Oh, yeah, get it in. Okay. And then we got in the bullpen over there, uh, she's six foot four. <laughs> she would talk well, a little bit. She ain't got shorter. Nah, I'll nah, trade you. I'll trade you. I'll just lying. <laughs> <laughs> My savings are gone. Okay, where were they last? Here, right before I spent them on the vacation to Aruba. Weird. Not weird. Not saving now means no money later. For free ways to save, go to feedthepig.org. This message brought to you by the American Institute of CPAs and the Ad Council. People are always looking to invest in a good opportunity. So what if you could invest in the future of kids, like a stock? Not the kind of stock that's about making money, but a stock for social change called Better Futures. With your investment, it helps students like me go to college. My name is Charles, and I'm your dividend. Invest in better futures with UNCF. Visit uncf.org slash invest. A mind is a terrible thing to waste, but a wonderful thing to invest in. Brought to you by UNCF and the Ad Council. So, I'm a dog, and I just got adapted by this new human guy, and I'm starting to wonder how he got along without me. I mean, okay, something as simple as walking around the block. He's got this leash thing, and he puts me on one end and him on the other, and I'm just taking him around. I, I think he's afraid of getting lost. Without that leash and me guiding him along, I don't think he'd find his way back home. But it's kind of cute. A person is the best thing to happen to a shelter pet. Be that person. Adopt. Brought to you by the Ad Council and the shelterpetproject.org. No word in the English language is less convincing 
then probably. Are you sure we should get matching tattoos on our first date? Sure. Um, we'll probably stay together. Probably? <laughs> it's been 23 minutes since I ate. I can probably swim. Uh, you should wait 30 minutes. Mm, okay, now tell me what to do. Cannonball! Cramp! Oh, I have a cramp. I can probably hit the green from here. Probably. Can I get a mulligan? Ready to go? Hey, are you sure you're okay to drive? Yeah, I'm pretty sober. Yeah, I'm probably okay. Probably okay isn't okay, especially when it comes to drinking and driving. If you're drinking, call a cab, a car, or a friend. Buzz driving is drunk driving. A message brought to you by NHTSA and the Ad Council. You know you're listening to the dopest show on the airwaves, right? You're my boy! It's the, it's the crush. SSNATL.com. Thank you, sir. Hey, man, we're back, man. We're doing our crushing the interview part one with our guy Brandon Jones. Uh, talk to us about grind, man. I see that all on your when I'm yeah. on every social media you got, yeah, man. Yeah. Talk to us about it. Man, um, grind is something that I had, man. It came to me... Um, this was back maybe in 2008, man. Um, and I've been sitting on it for so long, right? But, you know, it's, it's something, you know, everybody has their, you know, their sayings and their things. Mm -hmm. It was something that came to me, man. It was more of an acronym where, it's, you know, it's no matter what we're doing, it, and it, it, it's a lifestyle. Grind is a lifestyle, right? right? So uh, what it stands for is greatness renewing its nature daily, right? So if I'm committed to greatness, right. every single day I wake up, mm -hmm. I have to renew my mindset to be great in that day. Right, so mm. the nature of being great that's going to take that, that's my character. I don't care whether they say, Hey, Jones, you got stalls today, you got to go wash the stall. Okay, president of the company might come to him and say, Hey, man, the stalls are pretty clean today, Who did right, that? right? Right, so you know what I mean. So it, 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 it just it goes through your, your lifestyle, you know, no matter whether that's coaching, no matter whether that's in a relationship, whatever that may be, you know, um, it, it, it becomes you, you know what I mean. So we always talk about, you know, I'm on the grind, on the grind. Well, what does that mean to you, right? What does that mean, right? You know. And it's funny you said it because that kind of really applies to the quarterback position because everything is so repetitious. Absolutely. You have to, like, you can't have that one day where you say, eh, nah. I ain't, I'm going I'm, I'm to trip on my footwork. Right. Because on Friday or Saturday mm -hmm. or Sunday, right. that one inconsistency that you have That's it. cost you an interception, That's cost it. you a sack. Right. And, it's, and, and, and the thing is, when going from good to great, mm -hmm. right, it's not one big thing, but it's a lot of small details that people pass up right so and then even when you get to great it's a level above that that's greater right right and then once you get to greater it's a level above that which is say i'm working to be the greatest so everywhere you go you're always looking for improvement right, right. so you know just consistently you know instead of looking out the window so much always get in the mirror and see what can i do i'm not looking when uh -oh. the coach didn't play me he didn't do that uh -oh. let's get in this mirror what can i do how can i improve my skill set what can i do to better myself how can i make those better around me you know what I mean? Because if I start dressing to par and I show up every day at work, somebody might say, you know what, man, I'm tired of Jones looking like that, man. Let me start to do something, right? <laughs> you know? But then that all deals with getting in the mirror. It has nothing to do with looking out the window, what they're not doing. What am I doing? I want to set the tone. I want to set. So, so it's individual. That's all it is. So it's, it's, it's a personal um, it's a personal challenge to yourself. Every day I wake up, am I going to renew my mind to be great today? Am I going to renew whatever nature that may be, whatever whatever presents itself am i going to accept that challenge to be great so that's uh that's pretty much what it is do you see kids in this this up tempo pace offense mm -hmm. these spread offenses do they get lazy feet they do in the shotgun they do absolutely because um you don't have to do so much because you're already deep right mm -hmm. right so um therefore even so so what what happens is especially when you're training a kid that just sits in the spread a, a lot you have to teach them, hey, listen, rhythm is everything, yeah. right? So I don't really, ne I don't care if you're dropping, but you have to be able to maintain rhythm, mm. right? Because if you look at Tom Brady's feet, he doesn't really take much of a three-step drop from right, the gun. Right. He'll take one step, he'll sit, but mm -hmm. he creates that rhythm yeah, to drive yeah, the football, yeah, right? Yeah. So therefore, it's it's learned, you know, some people will take a three from the gun, some people will take the, you know, shuffle from the gun. Whatever it is, it's learned, but it is an art to that, just like it is getting under center. As long as you just get a not rhythm, that's the thing you're trying right. to do. Right, that's, that's all you're trying to do is create rhythm. You're trying to create depth from the line of scrimmage, right, and create rhythm. That's all you're trying to do. Now, as a uh, <clears throat> your signal call in your day, you uh, put up a lot of yards, uh, a lot of touchdowns, but your interceptions were very low. Very low. 
What do you contribute that to? And how do you pass that along to the kids that you're teaching? So just like yesterday, we started our session off yesterday was all mental. They got, they, they walked in the door. They had their footballs. I handed them a test. Show me what you know on paper. And the reason mm -hmm. being is because what happens is you'll find a lot of kids play the game halfway. And when I say halfway, they look everything secondary, and that's it. They can't tell you what's in the box. They can't tell you where the techniques are. And that's are. really can, the most important part. Right, absolutely, because if I know what you give me in the box, I know what you have to play behind. I know what they're playing I, back I, then. I know. <laughs> right, you see what I mean? So, therefore, they're playing with half knowledge. And, you know, when it comes to learning, you've got three levels of learning. You've got knowledge, you have understanding, you've got wisdom. A lot of them know, but they don't understand, hmm. right? So then by them not being able to understand, they can't apply it. And then so they, they're not wise when it comes to playing the, foot, playing the quarterback position. They just – Going through the motions. See, see why I had him in here, y'all? So, y'all got to know this stuff. <laughs> this is why this is my guy right here, y'all. Hey, Which is tougher for you, teaching a kid who has a strong arm to be able to position his body for touch mm -hmm. or somebody who doesn't have a strong arm to be able to get the ball out with some zip? Um, teaching the strong arm guy because the strong arm guy will get himself in trouble because he relies on it so much. You think he can make every throw? Right, right absolutely. And I like, for instance, Chad throw. Pennington – did not have the strongest arm, but he but let it go, and his rhythm was, was so. Yes. He let it go, and that's why he was effective. Receivers were still yes jumbling. Ball. He, the ball, ball gone, absolutely <laughs> ball gone. Right, and he you might know, hit you in the back of the head. Yeah, right, and that's on you getting in and out of your route. You know, and Michael Vick used to wait and try because of his arm, his strength. arm strength. Right, so he had to play a little bit and understand that he was so fast in his drop that he would hurry and get there, and it's like okay, I'm waiting on him, waiting on him, waiting on him. So then he had to learn, learn to elongate his drop, take your time, slow yourself down because he was so fast and explosive. So. Man, what can they find you at? They need to find you, man. man. Hey, man. Listen, I retweet them all day, man. I'm trying to tell you, man. You got to get this knowledge from Tell them where you can find them, man. Yeah, man. Um, you know, I'm, I, I try to stay a little low on social media, really, because, I, I mean, I try to stay moving as much as possible. So I need help with that. You know what I mean? You're one but, of them guys. We're going to yeah, make you I'm, put I'm pressure on you. Uh, yeah, tell them where you're going to put pressure on them. <laughs> and yeah, we're we going to mess around and, and get a monthly segment right here. P. That Jones, man, Grind QB. You know, you can find me on Instagram as well and uh, and Twitter. But, uh, yep, we out here, man. Yeah, make sure about it. This out some other quarterback guru. Now we're gonna, hey, hear, hey, look. we're gonna hear from him after the show. That's okay. I ain't the guru. <laughs> hey man, okay. hey man, thank you for coming on, Absolutely. man. Appreciate hey, for real, we're gonna keep on talk to you post jar. Let's see what who see team go. Okay. Let's see yeah. what we have. Yeah. Absolutely. See where we at. We'll come back, man. Uh, we go from quarterback to center. Yeah. yeah. What a different center. Yeah. We'll be back. We'll Bang talk about it. We'll come back. <laughs>